Hello comrades, Kami here. So like I said before, we have so much to do and so little time to do it in that I'm busting out a second video just for you guys. Coming in with episode what six? I don't know. Read the title and you'll know what know what episode it is. But look at this, what is this bizarre looking tree? Oh, it's the Fumi Woods. There's uh there's the leader of the Fumi Woods, like Vera Vera Weatherly. I'm keeper of the forest. All who pass here fight for what they believe in. Are you such a man? Uh, no, I'm not. I see, this place isn't for you. I'm sorry, Vera, I didn't mean it. She is, uh... Doesn't, uh, I mean, that's like one of the... That's, uh, like a character sprite that's reused like a thousand times throughout the game. She, she looks like a, like a Vera Weatherly, doesn't she? Maybe not Vera, but it looks like her... Looks like her name could have be the last... Looks like her last name could be Weatherly or something. So, she uh, told me since I f believe in what I fight for or something like that, stand front of the pawn and Mr. Fumi has accepted me. That would be of great help to me. So we get our first capsule monster. Give Fumi a name. Gels. Gels? Alright, your name is not Gels. They just reiter they just said your name like 50 times in a row. Your name is Fumi. Alright, so let's take a look at this Fumi character. Here's this capsule option. Remember, maybe you noticed this. I didn't bring it up. But maybe the observant viewers noticed that capsule was always grayed out. Now we can go and check it out. And there's Mr. Fumi. Let's see here. He's uh, His name is Fumi, as we've said. Class 1, whatever that means. He's neutral. He's got... Uh, he's, he's, he's a tribal. He's a tribal guy. I mean, you can tell like he's a tribal leader right there. He's got the Fumi punch. He's, he's, he's a higher level than Tia. That's always wonderful. So the deal with these guys is, like, you see here, he's got all these little doodads, these little bars. I can go through my equipment, and I can feed him stuff. And f depending on how good the equipment that I feed him is, more or less uh, bars, more or fewer bars will be added to his little grow meter. And you see right there, he's there's a long knife. That's what he's requesting. Like, you can feed him anything, and he might like it, and he might, might not like it. But if you happen, if I happen to have a long knife or whatever he was asking for, if I happen to have a long knife on hand and I give it to him when he's asking for it, then I get a bonus. All right, let's see this. Let's see Mr. Fumi in action. Like kind of a, I don't know how he hit hit him. He looks like he's just a bunch of bubbles. Like that's just a bunch of bubbles, and it just destroyed that jelly. All right, he's cool. He's cool by me. Little random assortment of bubbles can really bring the pain. But, uh, contrary to what you might be thinking, I'm not gonna just give him random bits and pieces of equipment that I find, because through my nerdiness, I personally have devised the most efficient way to level your dudes up. I don't have enough money to do it right now, but I found the, I know the best, best route to, to turn Fumi from a little, little puddle of Soap suds into a big, big deadly brute. So, oh my goodness, I didn't even, uh, didn't even notice we're fighting uh, like beasts. It's a nice step up from fighting mosquitoes. <laughs> I mean, you go from fighting like spiders and mosquitoes straight into like fighting whatever God's name those are from fighting cento, straight into fighting centopes and raging buffalo. It's, just, it's starting to get good. Before you know it, we're going to be fighting werewolves and giant zombie tyrannosauruses or something. I don't know. I can't I can't think of any good monsters right now, but... What's the... Oh, yeah, I have to go buy equipment for Tia. Tia's... <laughs> if you saw the last video, you'll, you'd know that Tia's swinging around a frying pan and she's wearing a dress. Doing my best not to make a, a joke offensive to women right now, but she is wearing a dress and fighting with the frying pan, people. I mean, I'm not one to make female jokes, but I think that the developers might have tried to sneak sneak one in there real fast. All right, woman, what do you say? The coronation ceremony. Hey, it's Vera Weatherly again. Look at that. She gets around pretty fast, doesn't she? Alrighty, let's take a look what we got in this new sword. We got the mace, we got the, sh the long knife, and we got the short sword. 
Jeez, I don't know if it's showing up, I don't know how good the resolution is, but look at that, it's like 20 points stronger. Take that, take the- oh, I don't have any money! Damn it, Maxim, you need to carry more money with you! Uh, sell this insect crush. Now, uh, if anything we're selling, alright, we got the poison, poison spell, so we can heal our poison that way. Get to you. Oh my god, her attack jumps from 18 to 52 if she just has a knife in place of a frying pan. I don't know what's wrong with frying pans. Frying pans have taken me through zombie apocalypse is just fine. So, Tia needs a robe. Maxim needs cloth armor. Tia needs a headband. Maxim needs a cloth helmet. What is it? What in God's name? What is it? Why do they want cloth armor? What is cloth? It's clothing, people. We've... We've upgraded from clothing to leather before. Why are we still doing our best to wear armor that's made out of fabric? I'm not gonna... Uh, never mind. Forget it! <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of digs we got at the castle here. Alun's Castle. Hey, buddy. We have, the gu we have to guard it with our lives until the coronation ceremony ends. Guard what? The coronation? No, the, the crown, people! Oh, we get, we're about to meet some reoccurring characters. Your Majesty! Check those two guys out. The, the crown! What is it? I just learned that the crown is an imitation! This can't be! The way it shines, it must be real! The guards on the crown are the best. This is impossible for it's impossible for anyone to switch the crowns. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> like, the king's really paying attention. Like, I have like eight or nine people saying the crown's fake, and he's like, "What? I I just woke up. Sorry. <clears throat> what now? Hold on there. I've never seen you before. What's your outfit, soldier? Dot 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 dot. What is it? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, I have that I have that dude on the left's haircut. And I as well, tis Bart, Bertie's first apprentice. Greetings. What? Who are you guys? Aha! Don't move. Oh my god, a bomb is floating. I assume all of you can see this booming bomb well well now, eh? What are you waiting for, Bart? Let's let's party let's party arty, eh? This guy's supposed to be Cockney or something? Right oh, buddy! Wah! Oh no! Put it out! B but Ha ha ha! Watch out folks, the big one's coming! Here it comes! Three, two, one, boom! Dot dot dot. Uh, I don't know why they say dot 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 with accents. Dot 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 dot. What's going on, bot? Huh? It should. I haven't got a clue, Bertie. What are you playing at, bot? Oh my goodness! You guys just got owned. Yeah, I have like the same haircut as a guy with blue hair. If anybody cares to know, it's a popular haircut among, uh, cool people? I don't know. Hmm, I'm a great and generous kind of thief. I'll let you go this time. Well, well done, you I don't want to read that. <laughs> That's a ballsy thief right there. Dot, 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 dot. What are you doing? Do something if the spread's outside the kingdom, question mark. Yes, Your Majesty. Those guys are like those guys are gonna be awesome reoccurring characters. I don't even know if they're Cockney. Actually, I mean that dude just said party arty, so I just I've never thought of them as having accents like that before. So you, I mean you, you never know. They there's no voice acting in this. I mean there's my amazing voice acting, but outside of that there's no like amazing voice acting. As soon as the ceremony was canceled, Abel took off somewhere. Who's Abel? Like, a Abel's dead, man. His brother killed him. But this is, uh, now we have our establishing shot. And that's what's important. 
I freaking killed a horse, and now I killed my neighbor's horse, and now I'm on the I'm on the lamb. Because when you kill a horse, you go on the lamb. <laughs> no, uh, the crown was stolen. Birdie and Bart, the wicked guys that are the idiot thieves, taking the crown. We got to go get it back, and it mm, that's and Tia's gonna die. Tia is freaking dead. Find out next. Find out what's gonna happen next time, right here, comrades. I'm Godless Kami. See you guys later.